Hola. So I've like never been the type to cry on camera. Um, really show any type of true raw emotion on camera. One, because it was never something I was taught was okay to do. Be vulnerable, sh be vulnerable, show that side of yourself. And two, because of the stigma that goes behind opening up to any part of your life on camera and then posting it online. Because all you get is, oh, you're doing this for views. Oh, you're doing this for attention. Oh, you're whatever, this, that, and the third, right? But, um, I think, honestly, it's completely the opposite. If you can be so in touch with your emotions that you have no problem sharing them with other people, and in doing so, maybe inspiring others to be okay with talking about their emotions and, and, and feeling through those emotions. Um, bro, I don't really know where I was going with that. I think I just wanted to, again, talk to my camera because yesterday I did that and it helped me kind of work through some stuff in my head or out loud, I guess. And figured maybe it would be the same um, today. I healing is so uncomfortable and like it's hard to put into words what I mean by that because I don't mean in the sense of like it's not worth it or something like that um more in a sense of like when you truly make the commitment and decision to live as that best self that you're uh, to live as how your future self would want you to live when you truly start taking the active steps in your everyday life and committing to it and not letting a simple thought become your reality and realizing that we just we have the the auton we have the ability to be autonomous over what it is I totally just lost my train of thought um That we, yeah, to be autonomous of what it is. What the fuck is wrong with me right now? Nothing. I'm amazing. I'm perfect. I'm beautiful. I'm loved. I'm beautiful. I am free to live the life that I see fit for me. Um... I think this is stemming from Oh, that's what I was saying. Um yeah, what I was saying before is like when you make that true commitment to yourself and not a half-assed like yeah, I'm going to meditate once every 7 years. I'm going to eat healthy once every 4 decades. Um I'm gonna write in my journal, never. <laughs> um, when you realize that those half-assed attempts aren't actually getting you anywhere and propelling you to where you see fit for yourself or what you see the future for yourself. Shiloh, please. It's okay, Bubba. It's okay. Good boy. Um, again, when you start to make that commitment and 
not let any external factors sway you from doing so. The first kind of few however long to of a time period, really, that is going to take for that transition to become normal and to become habit and to become your actual lifestyle in those transition periods in that transition period is some of the most uncomfortable feelings that you will ever have to go through because when you do make that commitment to yourself and you truly believe it within your own mind that's when and I, I use, in layman's terms, God, the universe, whatever you believe in, really. It's all individual to our own belief systems. And, you know, what we believe is what is true for us. And um, is when whatever you believe in, I'm going to go with the universe. When the universe will start testing that and throwing shit at you that... Otherwise might not have been thrown at you if you were still doing those half-assed attempts. Because half-assed attempts is your own, is your own need those half-assed attempts of maintaining a healthy lifestyle, i.e. not journaling as much as you should, not meditating, not eating healthy, not not honoring your emotions, people pleasing, whatever it may be, those are the challenges and tribulations in itself. You're working through that at that time. And when you realize, what am I saying? When you realize that you have to start doing more in order to maintain being your highest self and your best self, is when, like I said, the universe will start throwing actual fucking shit at you to test that you are going to maintain those boundaries that you've set for yourself. For example, I, a few days ago, um, decided to truly commit to not smoking weed. I've been dabbling in like, oh yeah, I'm gonna quit, and then it just becomes a tolerance break for however long, right? And, you know, I'll make it one, two months, but during those one and two, one to two months, I always have the thought of the, in the back of my head of like, okay, I'll go back to it eventually. And I think that is where like a problem can arise. And not just in terms of what I'm talking about, like with smoking weed, with anything, when you're not fully committed to something and you leave that room in the back of your head for like, okay, maybe in the future I'll do, like, maybe for now I'll commit to it, but I can always go back to it. Um, I think for some people, maybe that works. I don't know. For me, it leaves that room open for me to just fall back into old patterns without taking responsibility for not committing to myself the way that I should be committing to myself. Um, and it's my own fault. I mean, granted, yeah, whatever, I've got traumas and shit, but it's my own fault. It's, or it's nobody's fault. It's just life. And I'm taking the active steps to try and work through shit and whatnot. But I think the point I'm trying to make is I have, I've half-assed committed to things in the past and none of them have ever worked out or tangible or... What is tantal tantalize? Alexa, what's the word tantalize mean? The verb tantalize is usually defined as to torment with or as if with. The sight of something no, that's not. Out of reach, oh. Used by Wait. That are yeah, I was right. God, I'm so smart. Alexa, what does tantalize mean? The verb tantalize is usually defined as to torment with or as if with the sight of something desired but out of reach, used by arousing expectations yeah. that are repeatedly disappointed. 
when you don't fully commit to yourself, I don't know how to use that in a sentence, actually. I know tantalize is the word that I was thinking. I know that the definition makes sense, but you get what I'm trying to say. When you don't fully commit to yourself and leave room for your mind to... I don't know, second guess itself instead of... I don't know what I'm fucking saying. This is <laughs> like video diaries. It's kind of cool. Why am I... I'm... This is a knife. And I'm literally fucking... Actually, probably feels good. You want some butter? Moral of the story. If you want anything to... To become tangible in terms of like... A future you see for yourself and you're not taking the active steps steps to to maintain that for yourself and like honor that future version of yourself and the now version of yourself who knows you deserve it but might be stuck in a cycle or whatever it may be if you're not actively making that commitment then how can you expect the universe to commit to you and I guess that goes back to what I was saying, like, when you do, in your mind, fully, like, feel and believe that, yes, I'm ready, I'm making that commitment to myself, any thought I have about, like, oh, I'm gonna react negatively, or, oh, I'm, I need to do this, that sh wouldn't be healthy, or I'm gonna smoke weed, or whatever it may be, any thought of that, like, when you're fully committed to yourself, you just push it out, and realize that it was just a thought and you're not your thoughts you observe your thoughts and so once you do make that commitment like i was saying before the universe will start to test you in the most harsh ways possible because it it knows that if you are to really maintain that then you you've got to be able to go through some shit and still be able to maintain it. And also while not falling back into old patterns, maintaining the healthy ones that you've acquired and worked towards to keep that life or to keep that mentality going and, and healthy and, and to keep your spiritual health up and, and, and good and and i kind of just feel like i've sounded dumb this whole video and i know that's not that's not appropriate self-talk but it's what i feel and i'm talking just to get shit out of my head i know i'm not dumb i know i am actually really fucking smart and intelligent and whatnot but i think when i'm talking about my emotions and the workings of how I work through things and, and how things um, go through my thought process and head. Especially when I'm trying... I think that's when it's difficult, right? Is, like, I can have a conversation with someone about whatever and flow like it's nobody's business, but when I have to interest... When I have to... And I'm good at introspection, too. Like, I... I do a lot of self-healing work and, 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 and can feel through and talk about my emotions. I don't, I guess all I'm trying to say is like throughout this video, I don't feel as though I've talked to the best of my ability. It might sound a little bit choppy, dumb, redundant, but it's how it came out. And I'm not going to change it. And I'm kind of enjoying this, like, being raw and open and not editing anything out. And just listening to my own thought process, too. It's kind of cool. Um, like I said, I just a few, not a few days ago, like, I have been committed to being my best self and trying to maintain that in a healthy way. But sometimes obviously you fall back into an old pattern and then those things take a those things in terms of spiritual practices and 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 
and I don't even need to say spiritual because some people get so scared of that word and then they are like run away. Like, no, just maintaining your mental health is really what that means to me, at least. Obviously, there's a lot more that I probably, uh, that I believe in that I can go into and whatnot, but at its essence, it's just mental health, self-healing, self-introspection, self-love, and I think what I was saying before is that I don't, like, I always try my best, right? Or maybe that's not the truth. Like, maybe I just say that to soothe myself, like, and I know I could be doing more. And that's why, like I said, I fully, on Monday, like, I said to myself, I will not fall back into the same cycles I have been com completely falling back into and didn't have that little voice in the back of my head that I allowed to say like, but it's okay if you do like, no, like, yes, you have to be compassionate with yourself, right? And you have to show love for those parts of yourself. But at the same time, you have to be strict. You have to, you have to have your own if you can't even respect your own boundaries, how do you expect other people to respect uh, to respect them and, and treat you the way that you deserve to be treated? Sorry, that was a little bit off topic, but... <clears throat> um, where was I just going with that? Another reason why I decided to... Or not decided, but have been trying to... Yes, that I've decided that I have committed to not smoking weed anymore, saying this here, saying it now, um, and actually doing so, not for a month, not for two, for however, forever, for however fucking long that my, that I feel called that that's what I need to do is how I'm gonna, is, is what I'm gonna do. But see, I just did the same thing. I literally just gave my mind the soothing that it needed to hear or the, the addict in me or whatever it is that soothing that like it's okay baby yes you're trying your hardest but it's okay if you go back to that like no no it's not Robert like you have to be strong and parent yourself and yes you need to honor your inner child and your inner teen and 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 be open and and receiving to what they feel and how they're reacting to things in, inside of you but you also have to parent them too like in a healthy way right and that sometimes means and not in an abusive shut the fuck up or da, 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 or you need like you know what i'm saying not in that way but in like a you've got this you've got this way like nobody can stop you from from achieving something that you put your mind to and i believe in me i believe in you i believe that yeah I... again ramblings of the deranged and tired i read that or not read that i saw that as um one of psychonic's youtube titles and it perfectly described how I feel a lot of the time. <laughs> but I think I'm going to leave it at that because I actually have to go journal and write some stuff out. Because this video stuff, it helps, it does. But journaling and writing stuff down really helps get things out and out for good. And in a way that you can read back and see your own thought process as well. So... Thank you again for coming to my TED Talk. Adios.